Hi, I'm Brad Lyman, Senior Manager of Product for AWS Marketplace. I'm here to show you how to use AWS Marketplace to find, buy, deploy, and manage third-party products to build solutions and innovate quickly on AWS. First, let's start by going over what AWS Marketplace is and what it can do for you. AWS Marketplace is a curated digital catalog that simplifies software provisioning and makes it easy for you to find, buy, and deploy thousands of solutions that run on AWS. Today, AWS Marketplace has over 4,800 products for more than 1,400 software vendors in 39 categories, such as security, storage, and machine learning. And these categories continue to grow. With AWS Marketplace, you can subscribe to a product with hourly, monthly, or annual pricing, or receive custom pricing from a software vendor with seller private offers. The variety of pricing options in AWS Marketplace helps you get the best price for the solution you need with pay-as-you-go and discounts for longer-term contracts and commitments. AWS Marketplace also makes it easy for you to evaluate products with free trials and helps you migrate to the cloud with bring-your-own-license software. As you search for the best product to meet your needs, you can choose from multiple deployment types, such as Amazon Machine Images, commonly referred to as AMIs, CloudFormation templates, software as a service, commonly referred to as SaaS, APIs, Amazon SageMaker solutions, or all three Amazon container services, including Amazon ECS, EKS, and Fargate. This means you can easily deploy the solution you need right into the AWS environment you need. For the purposes of this video, we're going to assume you know how these different deployment methods work. If you want to learn more, you can visit the URL on your screen. Now that you have some general details about AWS Marketplace, I'll start by showing you how to find the solution you need. There are multiple ways to browse our catalog, including the AWS Marketplace website and a few different AWS, uh, AWS consoles, the EC2 console, the Amazon ECS console, and the AWS WAF console. In this video, we'll focus on the EC2 console and the AWS Marketplace website. So let's get started. When you start the EC2 launch process in the EC2 launch console, AWS Marketplace will automatically surface AMI products when you select the product type you want and the instance you want to deploy. EC2 is required to deploy any of our AMI products. When deploying an EC2 instance, you can see the catalog of AWS Marketplace AMI products within the launch wizard by selecting AWS Marketplace on the left side. You have the ability to search for products as well. That way you can find products that best meet your needs. Here, I can select a product and see the details of that AMI product before I deploy it onto an EC2 instance. I can see a product description, I can see the pricing options. I can also scroll down to see highlights and usage instructions. I can then click continue and get taken into the full EC2 launch wizard. From here, I can select a supported instance type. I can select the configurations I'd like to make. I can also select additional storage tags or what region I'd like to deploy that into. With just a few clicks, I can get that product up and running on AWS. Now, I'm gonna take you to the AWS Marketplace website. Here, you can use a more advanced set of search and filtering capabilities to narrow down our full catalog of products, including SaaS solutions and machine learning models. Because this is an introduction to AWS Marketplace, we'll be uh, talking about the browse, subscribe, and deployment actions. To learn about other features like private marketplace or seller private offers, you can visit the URLs on the screen. So here is the AWS Marketplace homepage. You can see a variety of menu options. You can choose to browse by delivery method. You can also select to browse by solutions, or you can view the full list of categories. You can also scroll down, see popular categories, specific solution information, as well as recently featured products. Some of these links will take you directly to an information page. Others will take you directly to a filtered search result. 
So let's start browsing the catalog. To browse, you use the search uh, tab at the top. You can start a search by entering a keyword in the search bar, or you can also select the magnifying glass to be taken to the full unfiltered catalog. For the purposes of this demo, I'll be taking you through the full view of the catalog. Here, you can see a full list of products in AWS Marketplace, ordered by a combination of factors including subscriptions and delivery methods. On the left-hand side, you can view filters that enable you to limit down the catalog based on the product characteristics you're looking for. These include supported regions, pricing models, instance availability, and delivery method. You can also select based on pricing type. And since we went through the EC2 experience earlier, I'm gonna take you through the experience of finding a SaaS product. I'll select SaaS from the delivery methods to get started. Next, I'll choose, I can choose a pricing plan and finally select a product. I'm gonna go ahead and do a, and select a product from our list here based on the hosts model. And based on that, I'd like to take you to a product that supports one of our newer pricing types, contracts and consumption. On the detail page, I can read more about the product, see the highlights, read reviews, and see the details of the pricing plan. When I'm ready to subscribe, I click on the continue to subscribe button to visit the procurement page. This page is common across all product types and provides the information necessary to agree to terms. This page is also where you'll be able to select from the pricing and delivery methods available. This product I selected supports a combination of pay-as-you-go and longer-term commitments, which means I can select an upfront commitment for a lower price and go above my prepaid commitment with pay-as-you-go pricing if I find that I need additional usage later. Here, I'll make a selection of a single year, and I'll go ahead and select 15 instances. Once I've made the the, the size of my commitment uh, selected within AWS Marketplace, you can see the total contract price, which shows up here. And this is where the delivery method comes into play. If you select a product that could be deployed on AWS, you'll be taken directly to that AWS service console to do the configuration and uh, complete your deployment. This works with services like EC2, SageMaker, and CloudFormation. Here I've selected a SaaS product, when subscribing to a SaaS solution, you'll be directed to the software vendor's website where you'll be registered for an account and be able to configure directly within the software vendor's website. Lastly, I'm gonna show you where you can see all of your subscriptions. You can look at all of your subscriptions from both the AWS Marketplace website and from the AWS Marketplace console. Here, is the view from the website where I can see all of my subscriptions to AMI, SaaS, container products, all the product types supported by AWS Marketplace. I can also click through and view within the console and it, see all the products directly that I've subscribed to there. From here, you can actually deploy more software or cancel your subscriptions at any time. You can visit the console through the URL on the screen for more information. So let's summarize. In this video, we were able to find software through the AWS Marketplace website and the EC2 console. We were able to sort by deployment type and pricing options and saw how to deploy directly to a console such as EC2 and also saw that that can be done with other consoles like CloudFormation and SageMaker. We also viewed all of our subscriptions in a single place. Hopefully, you now have a better idea of how to use AWS Marketplace and manage software in the AWS Marketplace console. Thank you for joining us. My name is Brad Lyman. If you have any other questions or want to learn about any more features of AWS Marketplace not covered in this video, visit the URL here. Thank you.